And a little bit of breaking news straight from the, hey, let's pull the car over and talk about it move today-ish. Um, Derek Carr signs a new three-year contract extension with the Las Vegas Raiders. Again, not in studio. Kind of had to uh, pull the car over, like we said. And, uh, you know, this is a big extension. I felt like a lot of people, you know, for whatever reason, really have, what, oh, I don't know whether if it's hated on Derek Carr if, or, if, to be honest with you, if, uh, honestly, if it's warranted. And I don't think that it's warranted. I think Derek Carr is one of the better quarterbacks in this league. But, you know, uh, a lot of interesting things going on with this contract. So it's a three-year, $121.5 million deal um, with $100, uh, $100 million, not $100, $100 million uh, coming over the next um, three years, I believe. So um, it's, excuse me, it's uh, this is all according to Ian Rappaport. i got to make sure I get my sources in there. So uh, the big thing to take away from this is, uh, Derek Carr, it's a three-year deal, so it keeps him and Devontae Adams the core parts of their offense. You know, this is a great point out, uh, a great thing pointed out by Ian Rappaport is, you know, it keeps those guys together long-term for, uh, you know, a couple of seasons. I like it. I absolutely love it. Uh, and I want some more of it because I feel like at the end of the day, you know, a lot of times you get these, you know, these quarterback wide receiver duels, there's a lot of uncertainty, but now they know they're going to be working together. Now they know that they're going to be building something there in Las Vegas and I'm excited for it. Um, and now, uh, currently according again to Ian Rappaport, um, the agreement ties Carter to, uh, to the Raiders through the 2025 season. He's already the longest tenured quarterback in the AFC. So major ch major change for a guy like Derek Carr. And I think he gets that. He absolutely has earned it. Um, and I'm really excited to see what it does bring for um, Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. Again, now they're going to start building something. I, I do think, you know, as we head forward in the draft, there's a couple different things they could look at. Uh, potentially a starting right tackle, um, a lot of different things on defense that I think still could be addressed. But overall, you get two of your bigger playmakers, your starting quarterback, your franchise quarterback, excuse me. Um, and I, I'm really excited about it now. Uh, it does put him in that com in that company with guys like Aaron Rodgers, Deshaun Watson, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, all those guys, Matt Stafford, Dak Prescott. The question is, can he live up to it? And I think he can, especially now that I think his protection is going to be better this year. I truly believe his defense is going to be uh, is racked and stacked and ready to go. Um, again, will he live up to it? We'll have to see. But I do think he's got the weapons that... Unfortunately, this is the, the the thing where okay, you got paid, you got your money, you got your you know former wide receiver that you were an absolute all star with in college, and now the question is, are you going to live up to it? And I think Derek Carr is definitely going to do that. Uh, and I think this is the kind of move that you know shows uh, through the franchise. This shows from the the the, uh, the higher ups, the the offices of the um, you know the general manager, everybody on the higher ups saying, hey, we believe in you, we believe in these next couple of seasons. And, you know, and plus this comes at a time when the cap is going to increase. I think it's going to be something to the tune of like $208 million next year. That's like a $20 million increase. That's huge. Uh, and that really helps out the Raiders uh, as they look to uh, not only extend Derek Carr, but also look to possibly keep some of these other pieces uh, together moving forward. And I love it. I, you know, you got Chandler Jones for a couple of seasons. Max Crosby just signed an extension. You got Derek Carr. Uh, Josh Jacobs is coming up on the final year of his rookie contract. You're going to have a decision there. So, you know, even Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, you got some weapons. You got some guys uh, for these next couple of seasons, uh, and the Raiders, I think, are going to compete uh, for at least the next couple of years um, with Derek Carr, with a guy like Devontae Adams, and um, I think they're going to be ready to go, um, and I think, you know, a strong draft really will help them out, um, you know, so... I think uh, that and also this does, I forgot to mention, this does include a no trade clause, which, again, I get it. I do think at the end of the day, you know, uh, you know, he... <sighs> I get it. It absolutely makes sense to me. Like he should, he should have put this in because you know he's a guy that has shown that he only wants to play for the Raiders and that the team will gravitate and play for him. And I think that's absolutely huge. But let us know what you guys think. Uh, you know about pulling the cover, getting this, uh, you know, this news out because it's big time stuff, and I'm really excited to see what it does and what it means for the Raiders.